Another beautiful day for a typical American family. Mr. Wilson is just arriving home from work. In the backyard, little Bobby is playing ball. And dinner is on the table as Mrs. Wilson is tending to her womanly duties in the kitchen. What could possibly ruin this perfect day? Bombs good. Well, you see, Bobby, it's true that bombs are very useful. They played a huge part in making the United States the most powerful nation in the world. In the 1940s, we became the first nation to develop nuclear weapons, and in 1945, we used them to help end World War II. So bombs are swell. Whoa, hold on there, Bobby. In 1949, the communists in Russia developed an atomic bomb of their own. Oh, no. I'm scared. And you have a right to be scared. All Americans do, although it's not in the Bill of Rights. The power of a nation is apparently directly related to the number of nuclear weapons it possesses. In 1952, we made the smaller but more powerful hydrogen bomb. The Russians followed a year later. Like us, they have many, many bombs. They could use theirs to pulverize our free enterprise capitalist society, incinerating you, your family and friends, and your neighborhood, potentially destroying everything you love. Say, is there anything I can do to help stop that? Certainly. First, you can duck and cover. Of course, there are many other things you can do to keep yourself safe in the wake of a nuclear attack. A fallout shelter protects you from short and long-term dangers of nuclear attack. It is often a good idea to convert your basement to a fallout shelter because the concrete and construction materials, as well as the earth, can serve as a thick, effective barrier from harmful fallout and radiation. There are some supplies and materials you'll need to ensure your fallout shelter is safe and secure for you and your family. For one, be sure to have a large supply of fresh, drinkable water, a stockpile of non-perishable food, especially canned goods, and other essentials, such as a radio, flashlight, batteries, and other necessary emergency supplies to last you 14 days. Because fallout can affect your outside environment for as little as two days, or as long as two weeks, or centuries. It's also important to have a sturdy table to hide under, just in case. It's also handy to know where your local public fallout shelters are located. And most of all, don't forget to pretend not to be scared. myself from a bomb unless I'm in my fallout shelter. What do I do with all these guns I bought? You can keep them. You never know when you'll need one. And don't forget to put one in your fallout shelter, just in case there's a communist insurrection from within. Kids 
Looks like you've gotten yourself a communist. Good job. But next time, remember, you can always call Joe. Remember, if it walks like a commie or talks like a commie, it's probably a commie. Even if it doesn't look or walk or talk like a commie, it might also be a commie. Well done! Now you know how to protect yourself from the nuclear capabilities of the Soviets while remaining fearful of them. They're too far away right now, but in a few years, the technology will exist, mutually assuring our destruction if anyone makes a move. Plus, we'll screw up royally in a bay in Cuba, but Kennedy will shine during the missile crisis. Then he'll die, which will indirectly bring the struggle against communism to open war in Vietnam, courtesy of the industrial military complex, and cause much political and social strife at home and abroad. Now the future's like... Oh, Bobby. There is no future. At least, At least none of the communists have their way. way.